Hey guys, just uh, wanted to kind of show off the coop and some of the general stuff that we did, some stuff that we built. Just here's here's the area first. This is our raised bed garden. We've gardened here for many many years. Hey there, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Just kind of pan around so you can see the layout here. That's the back of our house, of course, in the driveway. So let's let's go up to the coop. We uh, kind of had. Put these landscape lights out here just for a little ambiance and here's the front of the coop built that built pretty much everything here Cheryl will open up so we can get in inside that main door is a it's a door that we predator proofed here all half inch hardware cloth so we'll go on in I made this little uh, removable panel down here we're doing deep bedding and Wanted to make for sure that we could uh, keep it captured in there as much as we can. So I made this little removable panel. I'll show you the other side of that whenever we get in. Down here on the bottom, you can see that it has uh, barrel bolts. A couple of them are buried below, but that way we can move that panel out of the way to have access right down on the floor whenever we get ready to clean that. So I did uh, wire for electricity. I have a switch here for a light and uh, have a little night light in there. So if we need to come check on them when they're roosting. I uh, built this or uh, made this um, water, just a basic five gallon water with horizontal nipples. Got the uh, anti sit on the top poop funnel on the top of it, just zip tied down. And all the windows all have uh, these doors that open up. They're also covered with hardware cloth. So the girls have been out in the run and they're all, they think they're going to get something to eat. So they're all coming in. Uh, made these PVC feeders worked out perfect uh, the little caps on the front are necessary they really wasted a lot of feed until we did those but those are great the little cups got grit in it this is our automatic door that I built uh, with the add a motor motor so works perfect with the timer around here on the back we have two other windows here you can tell that these windows are open they're, they're tinted they actually have limo tint on them um, we're next to some commercial property here and it the lights were a little bit much and I was afraid that they would it would disturb the, the babies on the roof so we, we tinted the windows. You see the uh, roofs here in the poop tray. That's worked out very, very well. Cheryl's actually gonna give them some meal <coughs> gonna give them some mealworms here, which is obviously gonna be the, the treat of the day. These little brackets under here will actually hold a sliding nest box that I made that will slide out for access and then slide back to the wall. Now you can see I just got a couple of pieces of firewood and such in here for general chicken amusement. So I do love to feed these, these girls. They're having a big time. I didn't want to put a ramp here, um, thought it might be in the way. So I just made this little step, which has actually worked out perfectly. I just hop up on the step and then hop up there. This next to the, the coop is my uh, room where I have my compressor and these shelves were um, actually for the compressor house and I, I had not used them other than just kind of junk storage. So I cut this access hole in the common wall and boxed those in so we could have storage for all the, all the necessary things. And uh, yeah, you got to watch out or the chickens end up in there. If you don't watch out what's going on whenever you're trying to, to work with them. So, but we have all the necessary things that we need in there uh feed and, and and such and as you can see they they love a handful of scratch too so pretty good at stirring up the deep bedding it, it's worked out really well so far there's about four four or five bags of, of bedding in here now uh, there's no smell whatsoever it's, it stays super dry really really happy with with how that's worked out so far so okay so why don't we go on outside and uh and get uh, get a little more out outside stuff going on here. All those we've used a lot of barrel bolts here, so all these uh, doors and everything secured by barrel bolts. Watch, watch out, girls! All right, I built these. I built a window box here, so kind of hold some more plants. We just finished the run yesterday, so I'm like super happy that that's that that's done. Uh, the coop, the coop's nine by eight, and the the run is nine by twenty six. Both have metal roofing. And we got uh, the the front door here, access door here. So I 
I uh, made that. It's a double layer predator proofing all the way around. Hardware cloth on the bottom and chicken wire on the top and all covered by 2x4 wire. The doors are all complete 2x4 wire. And uh, just so we can be secure, I've got these barrel bolts where we can lock everything up uh, very securely, but also have a little another little latch that's on the inside here that'll work from both both ways so we can pull that and then we can go inside and see inside the run okay of course now that we're out here all the babies are going to have to come out because you never know we might have more another handful of scratch out here as they all come charging out to meet us so made this uh dust bath mac daddy dust bath here out of some uh concrete tree rings that have been around for a long time we got some leftover stumps and such chicken water another one kind of the same little perch which has become one of their favorite places in the world uh, the end is basically a piece of privacy fence so kind of think that worked out really well you can see out here where our our chicken yard yes girls I, I see you I don't have anything but I appreciate the thought so uh, you can see our chicken yard out here let's go ahead and go out we can go out outside in the chicken yard so we can see that. Okay, watch out girls. This is another I'll show you before we go out here. Sorry I missed this this little part. Uh, this is all this is gonna have deep litter in here. Uh, I have ordered up a, a truckload of ground wood and ground trees, whatever, from my local tree guy that we've used before, so I did the same sort of thing here as I did on the inside. These barrel bolts will allow this two by six that's on the bottom to come out. So that'll help me to get uh, the, the wood in and then uh, hopefully the uh, lovely compost for the garden back out again. I did make a 48 inch door here as well so I can get my little trailer that I pulled behind my lawnmower through the door. So let's go ahead and go out. We'll see what we did out here. Predator proofing really important here as it is almost everywhere. It's really hard to see, but it's almost grown up now but all the way around we have one by two wire uh, that's on top of the ground here and uh, out in the front all the way around so I'll pan back so you can see a little bit more this is the coop uh, lots of ventilation front and rear uh, permanent ventilation you can see back and forth the run so we built this fence that kind of connects back over to our storage building here uh, that's a gate inside there I keep my uh, wheelbarrows and such as that We'll pan back around. This is our to keep out of the sun. It's our storage building here. And then uh, I did not build this fence, but I did contract it to be built. It's an eight foot, uh, really sturdy privacy fence. Over here, we have just a four foot chain link. I'm not 100% sure that's going to work for keeping the chickens in, but we'll see. So that's, uh, that's pretty much the deal. I'm going to walk back around through this door and I'll get a couple more shots of the front, and that'll be the big tour see how this area worked out here there's also apron uh, wire apron underneath here and pinned down by those two by sixes everything we have we obviously have to hang flowers on it so we did hang flowers on it um, I think everything turned out really well very proud of it the girls seem to be really happy Cheryl seems to be happy which means Terry's happy so I uh, hope you all enjoyed the tour and uh, happy chickenry